Yo, what is up guys? I'm coming at you with a brand new video. Today we have a video on my auto-clicking conspiracy that is always going around. As you guys know, I get called a cheat quite a bit. Here's 52 screenshots of various players calling me a cheater from all over the, you know, world. Every sector, I'm not sure. These are all really, really old, um, up until really, really new. If you want to see what they all say, you can just pause the video and go through it at um, half speed so you can see how many people call me a cheat. And, um... Honestly, it's gotten to a point where even like my friends start to not believe that I'm not a cheat So I decided to make a new video of um, my clicking and how it works. I also activated a uh, On in Camtasia, there's a setting where you can Activate like a little ripple as you guys can see the little red ripples on my mouse every time I click and um, It's pretty cool. I, I can't believe I didn't think of that before but so this will help you guys gauge to see how many times I'm clicking and where I'm clicking exactly and exactly at what time I'm clicking. So you guys can see here this first part of the video is, is um, I'm doing what I think is called like a ring of fire or something where they leave tunes at your base as they jail you and you use them to your advantage. I was click I was attacking two tunes with two of my tunes each so I was basically locking players out from attacking me and the two players that I was attacking weren't online so they couldn't retreat the tune and the people outside there's nothing they could do I was just holding them there I'm pretty sure I did it for over an hour just to see how, how long I could do it and um, it was really fun because I don't know it's just a lot of fun you know you're sitting in your base nobody can attack you and you're just taunting them telling them to you know maybe next time because each time you attack you know that's another seven minutes that you've locked them out so I was here for like about an hour till I got bored and then finally I let them in but I just wanted to do it to prove it to them that I could, um, they couldn't catch me no matter what. And you guys can see how I'm doing it. Every time you see the video flash, like a glow, it's a um, speed change. So right there, I'm changing it back to a regular speed. But in between, I, I flip it up to like 200% speed because it's boring. Here though, I leave it at full speed so you guys can see that um, how I do it and that there's nothing going on in the in the game. And you can see in chat there, I'm taunting them again every time I do it. Um, it was it's a lot of fun. I remember this day because I don't know I don't usually do this because honestly it's a little unfair nobody can catch me at all and I feel like it's a little like low to be locking myself out like that but I do do it every now and then when somebody really gets me mad and and I wanna you know like really get back at them so here is a player tiffer he always has his viper here and um, I managed to jail his viper get to it really fast and uh, I killed it I think he usually retreats it really quickly but um, in this case, I managed to catch it and I sped it up. You guys can see I send Xena at it and then I send the Cyclones at it and then I send the Night Owls at it. The best way to kill a Viper is like with, you know, your Titan Sandstorm, but I didn't want him to retreat it. So you guys can see here, you can also use Night Owls without getting damaged. As long as you target and then move away, target, move away. You guys can see the little red ripples so you guys can see where I'm clicking and how often I'm clicking. And um, I do click a lot, but I don't have any programs that are clicking for me, you know. And um, even if I did though, I don't really see how those programs would help you. I think Wrong Thinker on the forums one time said on YouTube that um, he doesn't really see how an auto-clicking program could help a player. And I don't either, but whatever. I don't need one. So you guys can see, this is mainly just tune fighting the whole video. And then at the end I have a defense I wanted to show, but the whole video consists of like heavy tunes that I kill. And um, you guys can see, before the battle ends, I click leave. I scout what tune I'm going to hit next. I have my button hovering over the scout so that the moment the attack ends, you can click it. And um, you can click attack before the actual screen has loaded. There's a little instance where you get like a little lag, like when you're loading a tune. But you can click attack before you can actually click attack. And the, the click will still register so that the moment the attack button is there, it'll click it. And I think a lot of people don't understand that. I think they that's why they think I'm cheating. But basically, when you're having a lag spike, everything you do is still going to be registered by the game. Usually, like almost always. So even say you're chatting in chat and your game starts to lag spike up and you, you keep chatting and you push enter, by the time the lag spikes over, your chat's gonna be already entered into the chat because it still registers it. So yeah, I think that's how I can do it so much faster than other people is because I'm actually clicking before the attack has fully loaded. I mean, the screen has fully loaded and that lets you um, load, like it's hard to explain, but if, like I said, if you click attack before the actual screen has loaded, it'll still register the click and it'll let you into the battle. And then there's also this, the fact that I can load my attacks really quick. I, I, I've always said it's because I'm so close to Kicks headquarters. They're in San Francisco. They're a couple hours away from me. And, you know, obviously somebody that's on the other side of the world 
But the thing is, I don't know where Kixa has their servers, so I don't even know if it's in San Francisco or not. But if it is, that would make sense. You know, I'm so close to them and I can connect much faster than somebody on the other side of the world. Even if it's only by a couple milliseconds, it's still a big difference because whoever clicks first is going to get the attack. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I definitely... And <laughs> there in chat, you guys can see, um, I posted it. I, I said it was a code, a cheat engine code. A lot of people don't really understand... Um, those numbers, it, it's not necessarily cheats. Those numbers are just binary. And you can go on Google and find a text to binary translator. And so I translated, you know, some very naughty words into binary. And I posted them in chat. And then I said something like, oops, wrong chat. And then, you know, later people are freaking out, taking screenshots. And, and eventually I tell somebody to go um, translate it in a binary to text translator. And, you know, then they come back understanding what, what it means. But just because you see a bunch of random zeros and ones, it doesn't mean it's a cheat. Obviously, that is how, you know, the cheats for cheat engine work. But that's not... Binary has been a long... Has been around a lot longer than cheats for War Commander have. So, yeah. You guys see, um, I'm just killing a lot of tombs. Here I had a flash crash. I still get flash crashes, you know. My game does run really smoothly, but game still crashes all the time for me. And I, I don't know, I kill a lot, I, I kill a lot of tunes every day. I, I really like killing tunes. It's like half of my fun in War Commander. I don't know, there's just something about tune killing that's fun. I think I'm really good at it. And I don't know, I like to do it. So you see there, I'm arguing again with Tiffer and Chad. He's always arguing with me, always calling me a cheater. He, he has come up with so many theories, you know. His latest theory is that I, I uh, work for, his first theory was that I work for Kickside. And then he said that I have uh, connections at Kickside that protect me. Back when I made this video, you guys can see my Titan only has 5 drones. I was running the other drone tech, but now I use the tech that gives you 16 drones. Or 8. No, how many did it give you? It gives you a shitload of drones. I don't know how many it gives you. But the little white drones are better than the Raven drones. I don't know why. It would be good enough. I mean, it would be as good if it didn't... Um, if they deployed, but they don't deploy like half the time, so... The little white drones are better. Here you have a player, Tassie Devil. This dude is a crazy coiner. He he used to send tunes like this every single day, over and over and over and over. And I would just kill him, and he'd send him right back. Nowadays he stopped doing it. I'm not sure why. He probably just got sick of coining on me, thinking I'm a cheat. But it's really fun killing these tunes. I don't know. It's fun for a while, but then it does turn into like a pain when when you're trying to get out of jail and all there is is heavy tune after heavy tune. It can take really long to kill them. So yeah. But here I wanted to show the power of the Juggernaut. I had just gotten into Elite, I think, and you guys can see what it does to the Inferno in one shot. I'm pretty sure it kills it, and I don't know why I sent Baldur at it, but I'm pretty sure the Juggernaut should have killed it in one shot. Baldur can take out the Inferno pretty fast, too. He's a beast. So you guys can see I failed with the Juggernaut shot. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I did this, honestly. It ended up costing me a little bit of damage, but... This doesn't matter. See Inferno, he's not going to do anything to the joke. And, um, yeah, I was just... Whenever there's a jail, I always just kill the heavy tunes and then I put the tune back in because... Killing buggies, there's no point. They're just going to send them right back. And, um, heavies, though, is fun. And I always record it because it's fun to record it, make videos of it. So here you guys can see another Legion and, um, Inferno. You, you see how Baldur, how fast he brought it down? That's crazy. He's, he's a beast. But that just shows that the Inferno is also trash. I don't like how crappy the Inferno and the Legion have gotten. Ardra can kill both of them in like two seconds and it's it's not fair. I miss... I think the Inferno should still have its place in the game. And it really doesn't anymore. Some people say it does, but I don't think it does. So there you see the Jug takes him out again in one shot. And um, move on to the next tune. And you guys can still see my little red circle through clicking. So right there, look how the circle... You see how it popped up before... The attack actually was attacked that's because i click attack before but they got my tune in this case somebody loaded it faster than me and um but it doesn't matter i i always load my tunes really fast and i can send them home before they're attacked i always even do a little like a little circle to mock them you know i drive them around in a circle and then i retreat and it's it's cost me a couple times because while you're doing that little circle sometimes i'll send the night owls in or something but it always pisses them off you can tell that people get mad that they're waiting for you know their tune to like get to my tune really fast, but I retreated at the last second. Here you see my Titan Sandstorm going against some SF. These were some really strong SF. Usually, uh, it's it's um usually you can take out SF with no damage like this. You just send your Omega Titan Sandstorm at it, 
but in this case they did take a little damage and um, lately I find that they're taking a lot of damage I don't know why something about liberators being super strong and some people have really strong chopped out SF but for the most part when these people are offline you can you can just brute force those tunes with your sandstorm titan Dina and cyclones here this guy had a Widowmaker. I don't know why he sent it to my base but I wanted to run it over with my jug it's funny when this unit came out you know I remember how much of a beast it was and it used to like eat everything and now you can see that it's just getting killed so easily it's kind of sad it makes me sad I feel like units should never be useless, you know. Even my wing drones aren't useless. I still use them in my, my silos. So here, this guy came out to my tune. And um, I caught him before he caught me. And that's the kind of stuff that gets people really mad. But I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not going to let him kill my tune. And um, you guys saw in the beginning of the video the 52 screenshots of people calling me cheat. When I do something like this, that's when most of those screenshots come out. And um, here I was messing around with Ardra. Basically, in these tune fights, I like to just use my tunes to see what they can do like even though there's better ways to kill the tunes I like to use all my units just for fun it's fun to you know like pull out a whole Swiss army knife and try everything instead of just the knife which is usually the juggernaut like sometimes I just send in you know Baldur for fun to see what he can do here I sent the jug you want to be careful with the jug because um, hammers can mess it up but I guess SF can too because they did a lot of damage and then he had adaptive armor on his Kara. Killed it with the uh, power. And you guys can see how the little red circle is going crazy. I do click a lot, like, like I don't know. I, I'm, I'm constantly clicking all over the map. Like, it's hard to explain. Right now, you guys will see, I, I downloaded this program called QI Press, I think. It lets you also track your key presses. And here, I sniped this guy's tune, you guys can see. I was so excited to kill it, because I knew he was online, and I knew he didn't want me to kill it. But he retreated it like at the last second. I was so frustrated because I had such a crazy adrenaline rush. I knew he was going to be so mad. And I was so excited to kill it, but the jug is so slow. So, so with this new tech we got in the event today, um, hopefully it's faster. But here he retreats it and I was I was going crazy. I was getting a crazy rush right here. And I was so disappointed when he retreated it. Anyways, as I was saying, the QI Press um, program, it lets you down. Right here, you guys see. it. it it's basically like a key logger. It tracks every single key I'm pressing. I'm gonna start using that program in all my videos and also keep the little red circles because I feel like it's gonna help a lot when when watching to see exactly what I do. So when you see the letter H, that means I'm pushing the letter H, the letter F, I'm pushing the letter F. And um, th I think that's um, something that a lot of people don't understand. You know, the keyboard is a huge, huge help. You know, all the shortcuts, especially the shift one, shift two, um, the fight, fire at will, the A key. There's, there's so many things that a lot of people don't really understand. So you guys will see in the, that program is called QI Press. It's really cool. So for example, here you guys can see how every time I attack a tune, I push the A key and then I click near the tune and I leave. Instead of having Ruby on, because having Ruby on is dangerous if you forget to turn it off. Pushing the A key will guarantee that they attack the unit when they get into range of it. And it's much easier to do that, I feel, than to turn Ruby on. Or to check if Ruby's on, then push the R key. I'd rather just use the A key. Because Ruby will fuck your shit up. If you if you mess up and you forget she's on, and for some reason you come into a battle and you deploy a juggernaut or something expensive and you're not paying attention, it's gonna die. It's happened to me so many times, I'm so sick of Ruby. But Ruby has her place, I guess. But she still sucks like 95% of the time. And there you guys can see it was a Hydra. Omega Hydra is a beast, but it was on the other side, it wasn't gonna hit me. And that guy, I felt bad because he was online, he disconnected, and I know what it feels like when your tunes get killed while your flash crashed. But I'm not going to leave it alone because, you know, sometimes I feel bad killing people's tunes, but then I think, and I know that they would do it to me in a heartbeat, you know, they wouldn't mind killing my tunes one bit, and then it, I don't feel bad once, you know, you think about that. But it always feels kind of bad knowing that they're going to be repairing all day. Here you guys can see the Acolyte. I didn't realize how much Acolyte could tank against SF. He was doing really good, and um, I don't know. I, I don't usually use him, but I'm starting to use all my units more often. So here's the defense I wanted to show you guys. This guy lost a crazy amount of stuff. I was at 5,000 Infamy, and I really didn't want to get 3 star because I wanted to take a picture of my 5,000 Infamy. And um, I was positive he wasn't going to 3 star me. I was like 100% sure there's no way he's going to 3 star me with my defense in. Um, my base is just way too hardcore and um, I had my howlers in, I had my, I had two purifiers in there, I had acolytes in there and I had Jericho in there. But I guess this dude brought his whole storage to my base. I think he had like six tunes and he used like four of them. So 
I got really lucky he didn't flap me, but you guys will see. He starts off here with um, his purifiers and, and uh, what are they called? Hammers and Ardra. I slowed the video down here back again. I'm not sure. I think it's like 150% here. So I use Jericho starting off to hit the hammers and the uh, Ardra. You know, obviously he's way, way better range than them. And he starts chasing Jericho and he starts getting hit by the bunker. So he changed targets, but then I bring Jericho back. And I'm basically just, you know, confusing him, messing him around. He's trying to decide what he should aim for. And, um, oh, he has Roland in there, actually, not Ardra. So Roland is a piece of crap, in my opinion. Ardra is a beast, but uh, I guess Roland has his uses. But I'm sure he's not anywhere near as good as Ardra. And um, I don't have him, I let him go. But, I mean, you guys can see here, he did decently. I think his biggest mistake was aiming for my Jericho. He was, you know, confused, he didn't know what to do. And he also said he was drunk, so that, that doesn't help <laughs> when you're drinking and playing War Commander. So there's one tune, and he's taking out a big chunk of my base. I'm pretty sure I might be bubbled by here, actually. And he gets another tune out. I'm not sure what's next. I think his his sandstorm's gonna come also, and his titan. Here's Ardra with some purifiers and uh, one hammer, bunch of uh, liberators. I sent my purifiers at them because I really didn't want to get three starred. So usually I wouldn't do this because I, I wouldn't want to take the damage. But in this case, I really didn't want to get three starred. I come in from the back and. Um, Basically, I have charged ordinance on one of these, uh, what are they called, howlers, so I knew I could shock his Ardra and his uh, purifiers. So you see there, Ardra got stuck, she's done. The other purifier got stuck. He brings in his air, and uh, my howlers are going to murder his air. But I'm having some lag here. You guys can see that the clicks are not registering at the same time as the... The units are not moving with the clicks. So when you, I hate when this happens. It's so frustrating because you click, and then the unit moves like like a second like a two second delay and that can really really screw you up you know when you're trying to be precise and um i don't know i didn't know what to do there's nothing you can do other than reload and you can't reload while you're getting attacked because you'll get that glitch where you have to unlock everything it's so annoying and here i brought my stuff over his his air spawn to just in case he spawned any anything else and I, that was a, that could have been a mistake because um he had his juggernaut right there i didn't realize so I'm, I'm so scared at this point. I was like, man, he's going to three-star me. He's going to three-star me. And thankfully, I my, also you guys can see my my uh, Howler was charged. Ordinance was dead at that point. And I don't know. I got lucky, I think. I got really lucky. He didn't three-star me. And I don't know. I was just a mess at this point. I, I was panicking. I was freaking out. I didn't know what to do. You guys can see his Juggernaut killed two of my Howlers, which was a big fail on my part. And he just has really strong units. You know, not many bases can take this much damage. Like somebody wants to flat you with this many units they're gonna get you and at this point he still had a full health legion left and um he he unfortunately he ran out of time but he had a full health legion and uh a hydra i think i don't know but whatever he had in the other tune he he could have flattened me with it i don't know he said he forgot about it but that's what happens when you're drunk i guess i use my jericho here to, to shock his um liberators you know jericho with arc loader is great uh, but he had anti shock on them anyways but yeah he, he was just spamming in and that's never a good strategy if he had been a lot more careful he definitely would have got me and so there comes an apollo and at that point i think that's the last unit he sends in and i was like man he two starred me i was pretty sure he dropped me under my goal but thankfully he didn't and i got to manage my screenshot he took 96 infamy off me and he got two star 98 percent or something but he didn't three star me and you guys can see I was able to stay over 5,000 infamy take my screenshot I don't know why I pushed I don't really like pushing for infamy but it, it was fun and I wanted to see how far I could get so I got to 5,000 infamy there you guys see and there you guys have it that's a video hopefully proving my auto click I know it, it's not a very in-depth video like my other one but I just wanted to put this together real quick so I could get rid of the footage I have and I'll make another one eventually so thanks for watching guys I'll see you guys next time and don't forget to like share and subscribe and whatever other youtuber says and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.